Okay, so we've been talking about soundness and validity, and it's worth noting there are some things that logic just can't do. So it's going to be the case that um, logic won't help us, for the most part, decide on whether some declarative sentence is factually true. So if we're looking to answer questions about, for example, you know, what's the correct dosage of ibuprofen for my six-year-old, or how much sewage is produced by the city of Lubbock, who's the current prime minister of Poland, these are not the kinds of questions that logic will provide an answer for. Um, so usually the best way to discover whether a sentence, a declarative sentence is true or false would be to follow the method of rational inquiry that we find exemplified in the natural sciences. So I say usually but not always of course because there's going to be a broad range of kinds of questions where it's either you know, logically not possible to to use the methods of the natural sciences or it might be too expensive, there might be other constraints, it might be irrational to devote the level of energy necessary to get a properly scientific answer to some kinds of questions. Um, most obviously we see the limits of natural science when we're when we're trying to tackle questions about science. So um, imagine this little dialogue here, Dink says we should only believe claims that are supported by science. And then Doink responds, well, you know, what about the claim you just made, Dink? I mean, is it, isn't the kind of meta claim about science itself, you know, not something that we can in investigate scientifically? Now, obviously, that, that's true. Um, so we can acknowledge that and yet recognize that you know, even though science doesn't answer all, our, all of our questions, including some very important questions about science itself, it certainly provides a good model for successful inquiry. So the model for inquiry that science provides is something we'll talk about a little more going forward. But um, yeah, so, so that's all we have to say about that for now.